Welcome to another video where I show you how two-way audio is possible within Home Assistant using a TP-Link camera, in this case the model C110. There are other cameras available to use this two-way audio function in Home Assistant, however for the purpose of this video I'll be focusing specifically on this camera from Tapo. Also please bear in mind you'll also need an SSL cert configured on your Home Assistant for this to work. You can check out my previous video where I show you how this can be achieved. Firstly we need to make sure we have the GoTo RTC add-on installed. You can check out my previous video showing you how to do this. I'll also have the repository URL in the description. Next, in the Devices and Services page, you'll also need to include RTSP to WebRTC integration. The URL you'll use when setting this up will be HTTP localhost using the port 1984. This will allow the integration to communicate with our GoTo RTC setup. We'll also need a file in Home Assistant's config directory called gotorTC.yaml. Here we will list a catalogue of cameras as well as the URL links to grab the camera's audio and video streams. With all this in place you can head to the GoToRTC add-on web UI. Here you can see I already have a camera set up. What I'm going to do is head to the config page and add in my Tapo camera. All new cameras will be nested underneath streams. Start by giving it a name, in this case I'm using camera.conservatory. Next I need to specify the RTSP URL for my camera. For Tapo cameras this will be your username and password followed by the device's local IP address, port 554 and either stream 1 or stream 2 for the main or sub stream. I'll have this linked in the description. All you'll need to change is the username and password and the local IP address. Underneath this we need a link which will be used for the TAPO's two-way audio function. For this the username will be admin, we will then need your TAPO cloud password included in an MD5 hash format. To convert your password string to an MD5 hash you can go to this website. Please note the TAPO password we're using here is not the camera's RTSP password. This is the password you use to log into your TAPO cloud platform. Make sure you enable uppercase hash, copy the hash and paste it into your config. Then we just finish this link off by including your camera's IP address. Click on save and restart and now we can check to see if the video, audio and two-way audio is working for this camera. So first of all let's click stream to check if the video stream and audio is working. And next we can use the two-way audio link to test the two-way audio function on this camera. Once you click the link and the video stream loads you'll be able to talk into the microphone and your voice will be sent to the camera's speaker. Both of these tests were successful but where do we go from here? In a real world use case we don't want to be coming into this web UI every time we want to use two-way audio. A solution here would be to add a button on our dashboard which would enable two-way audio on demand. So let's do that. But first if you're finding this video helpful so far please remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all my latest content. From here then let's go to the devices and services page and add a generic camera to Home Assistant. The stream source will be RTSP localhost with the port 8554 and the camera name you used in your GoTo RTC config. Everything else can be left as default. Click submit and then toggle this image looks good and press submit. From here we can double check the camera works correctly with the audio also included. I'm also going to rename the camera's friendly name and entity ID just so it's easier to find later on.
we now need to grab the URL that's used for two-way audio. To do this, head back to GoToRTC, right-click the two-way audio link, copy the address and paste it somewhere for use later on. On my dashboard, I'm going to include a picture element card on my cameras page. The picture will be a live view of my camera and the two elements will be to increase the size of the card and a button to enable two-way audio. The card will be placed in the C1 grid area of my layout. For more information on how to use this grid layout, you can check out my previous video where I cover this in more detail. Click on Add Card and look for Picture Element. First thing I'm going to do is include the grid area C1 so the card is positioned on my page correctly. We now want to remove the default config and start including the config for our camera. At the top will be camera image, which will be the entity ID of our newly created generic camera. Underneath that, we want to specify the camera image to be live. To do that, type camera view, then type live. The first element is going to be a button to bring the image to a larger size. For this, I'll use the type icon, and the icon image will be arrow expand all. We now need to tell the icon where it will be positioned on the card. Under style, I'll use top 85%. This means the icon will be positioned 85% away from the top of the card. You could use bottom 15% to give you the exact same result. Then tell the icon where it needs to be in relation to the left or right side of the card. To make the icon bigger, we use transform and scale, then input size ratio. Now I'm going to define the tap action to be more info. This means when I click on the camera image, it will open up a pop-up window view of my camera. With this more info tap action, we need to specify what entity information it needs to open. That's the first element done, now we need to add the second element for the card which will be the two-way audio button. Everything will be the same for this element apart from the icon image, the style positioning and colour and also the tap action. The tap action I'll use here will be call service. The service I'll be calling is browser mod pop-up. Again, if you are unsure, I've got a video covering the browser mod in full detail if you don't already have this. For the pop-up we can give it a custom title and we will also need to specify what the pop-up card will include. This is where we'll need the two-way audio link URL we copied earlier. The card will be an iframe that opens up that URL.
Then finally I'm going to specify the aspect ratio of this pop-up card when it opens. Before we can test this, I'm going to make sure first that Browser Mod is installed on this device and also make sure the PC I'm using has been registered into Browser Mod. If you haven't already, make sure you've included the Browser Mod integration on the Devices and Services page. Head into the Browser Mod web UI and check to see the machine you're using for two way audio has been registered into the Browser Mod. If it hasn't, this means that the browser mod pop up on the dashboard won't open. Now, when we click the microphone icon, it should open the two way audio web page in a pop up window. From here, you should be able to use the device's microphone to communicate through to the camera. If you're using a web browser for this test, you should notice the red record icon in the tab bar telling you that your microphone is currently being used by an application within your web browser. If you're having issues, you may need to make sure the correct microphone is currently being used. This will be the setting located within the web browser settings. And that's it for this video. There's a bit to take in there, and this is purely for a Tapo camera only. I'll include links in the description for all the code used and also the hardware used in this video. Leave a comment if you'd like to see videos related to this. Maybe the same thing, but with a different camera setup. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon in my next video.